Eugenia has responded to comments about her ED. She very rarely addresses anything at all when it comes to her health, and we literally just see her deteriorate on social media more and more as time goes on. And it's sad if you think about it, because she literally only responds to comments defending her and making out like all the comments that are literally just addressing her reality are just hate comments. When in actual fact, people just want her to get better. She obviously can't take accountability, and this is proof of that. So people were tearing her down in her comment section, she was doing another dance video and you know a lot of people had stuff to say about it because it's very weird you know she's not wearing much clothes and people have all sorts of opinions about this someone commented tearing down her spirit is not going to help her in any way be kind always and as per usual Eugenia only responds to the nice comments about her but she did say this I wish people realized this thank you so much someone else defended her saying you'll need to be kind you do not know what someone is going through in life. Try to spread some kindness. Love the dance, Eugenia. You got this cowgirl. Yes, exactly. Thank you so, so much. So a while back, for those who don't know, Eugenia was sad about getting demonetized on TikTok and banned constantly. And when she came back after getting her account back, she responded to the drama and was crying on live stream. That was until Jeffree Star came onto her live stream and then she switched up really quick. I don't know. I don't really know what's going to happen with anything anymore. <laughs> I really don't want to be like this today, <laughs> but it's whatever, you know, I just, there's nothing else I can do. I can't just stay away forever. I've just been doing nothing for like, I, I just, I don't know what to do anymore. So <laughs> it's just kind of is what it is. Um, no more on long chat, but I'm miserable. I've been miserable this last month not having this. I'm way worse without it. Like, if you guys think taking away, like, get her offline, everything's gonna, it, it's like, nothing's better. I'm trying to be, and I'm just trying to, like, whatever, but like, then the next day she'd posted this video to TikTok explaining her thought process and where she's at and she said a lot without saying anything at all, which is very typical for her. Hi you guys, so um, I was originally actually going to make this video yesterday but I just woke up like really really not feeling too good yesterday so um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to make it today. So I just kind of wanted to say if anybody was watching my live last night and I know there's some people posting videos and stuff, um, I'm really sorry that I was getting like that on live. Um, that's kind of a big reason why this last month, like I haven't really been like saying much or doing lives or doing anything. I kind of thought I was to a point where like I wouldn't get like that, but I guess I went live and that's just kind of what happened. And I also really, really want to thank everyone that has been being nice and being supportive right now. Um, I really, like, truly appreciate you guys so much. And to the people that are kind of saying things like, you know, she's being so, like, pathetic or annoying about this, like, I can definitely look at it and, like, see how it could appear that way to people. And so she was crying because she got demonetized on social media for her whack content, not just her promoting her ED to young viewers, but she's been so inappropriate in the past, trying to appeal to certain fetishes, and she acts all innocent about it, but really, it's quite disturbing. And so when she was crying after she got demonetized, people were like, seriously, girl, you're playing the victim. And, you know, I get that. So I respect everyone's opinion. It's just, I guess with me, like so much that I had on here that, you know, was kind of not really, um, it's different right now, really meant and in means and you guys' support. I don't know, but um, so much of it for so long has meant so much to me. And yeah, I don't know. But I guess right now, guys, it's kind of just like how I was talking about in the first video I posted coming back, how. I just really haven't been feeling that great right now. I think like sometimes I'm probably going to say things that aren't perfect and I really don't mean to, but I think like sometimes some of the things that people really analyze that like I'm saying I'm not even really thinking about in the moment. So I 
She's probably right, to be honest. There's not much going on up there in her head. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. People do overanalyze stuff, though, and a lot of the time for Eugenia, anyway, she probably has no idea what she's saying half the time. But people are also saying that she portrays a very innocent nature, when in reality, deep down, she knows damn well what she's doing and what she's saying, and she just loves to play the victim card. Again, I'm just trying to do my best and to try to be a better person every day and i also guys like don't really know because like i said i'm just kind of trying to understand a lot of things myself right now and i don't always really know like what i even should or should be saying so i guess i'm just kind of you know trying to figure things out right now and i just kind of feel like you know we're all in life on our own personal journeys and i'm just kind of trying to do the best in, in that i can in mine right now and um, I don't really know if like this is always the place to be discussing. People are like she's literally addressed nothing. Also, her fans are like, if you think your ED is going to get you views, you're wrong. People want to see you recover. People would literally eat up that content. And you know, she's so obsessed with begging for money online, on live stream, the TikTok lives, begging for flowers, or whatever the hell it is they beg for. It's surprising that she wouldn't want to make more money and also recover. Everything. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to do my best and deal with everything. Again, thank you so much to everyone that's been nice and people that are being like respectful and stuff and even people that aren't you know like that's okay you know i'm not trying to like say anyone's wrong to feel however they feel i'm just gonna keep trying to do my best every day i feel like sometimes that's like all you can do i guess and um you know the positivity really does help um sometimes i just kind of feel like a lot of the negativity just really doesn't always feel helpful but you know that's okay i respect like you know everyone's opinions and on my end just want to send everybody love and prayers i really don't ever wish bad on like anyone no matter what so yeah you guys um and thank you to you guys that have been listening and everything and hopefully things get better and <laughs> all right i love you guys Here's what people are commenting under this video. We would just really love to see you healthy and thriving. You're a beautiful soul, Eugenia. You could change the world for the better one day. I hope you know your self-worth. I'm praying for you. Eugenia, I've been there. I've had multiple organ failure. Recovery is worth it. I have a beautiful son and I want your journey to go on so much longer. Hey, Eugenia, I know you might not want to talk about it, but if you do, one of us will always be here for you. You're a beautiful human being and I hope you'll be okay. Look at all the support for you being real, Eugenia. Keep sharing and showing us the real you and we will be here for it. Once again, you've addressed nothing. Toxic positivity is this girl's entire personality. Now over on TikTok, they have updated their disordered eating and body image terms of conditions. Here they'd said, we want TikTok to be a place that encourages self-esteem and does not promote negative social comparisons. We do not allow showing or promoting disordered eating or any dangerous weight loss behaviors. And this is why Eugenia keeps getting banned but for some reason she keeps getting her TikTok account back. Maybe she's saying to TikTok when they message her and tell her why they banned her that she's actually working on herself when we know in hindsight that's probably not the case at all. Anyway, they continued, content is age restricted if it shows cosmetic surgery and does not include risk warnings. Eating disorders such as anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa and binge eating disorders are serious and may be life-threatening. If you or someone you know is experiencing concerns about body image, food or exercise, support is available. Contact a helpline in your region. It also talked about dangerous activities and challenges, which is really interesting because there are so many dangerous challenges out there, well, that have been out there in the past. And some people have even died from dangerous challenges. So I guess it's a good thing that they are trying to take a stand against that as well. But anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts on all this in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy, juicy tea.